Today I'm taking a quick look at the EBL, AA and AAA batteries. These are high capacity nickel metal hydride cells and I'm going to have a look at the charger as well a bit later on. Now when you pick these up there is a bit of weight to them which is usually a good sign and the same applies to the AAA cells. Lighter cells tend to have low capacities but we're going to run these through a proper capacity tester to see exactly how much the cells deliver. On the side of the label you'll see the rated capacity there of 2800 milliamps an hour which is slightly optimistic but we'll see how that stacks up and you'll see that they are marked as low self discharge type which is unusual because there's usually a compromise with the space inside the cell between the material which stops the discharge process. Comparing them to the any loops I haven't had a problem with the size on these these are just a fraction longer than the Panasonic cells there's really not much in it and the same applies for the triple A's they are just a fraction longer than the any loops and other normal cells that I have I have used larger cells than both of these for AA and triple A cells some of the bigger Uniros ones have caused a few issues with specific products like remote controls um, but generally it's not a problem for some items like flash guns and things like that you'll see there's quite a few variations on the packs that you can buy and they're good value you can see here we have a 12 pack just over $20 and there's you can go for the triple A's as well and you can bundle in the charger if you want to now these come with uh, plastic clear cases so you can stash them in those if you wish now looking at the charger there isn't a lot of information on this but I can tell you the charging speed is just under 200 milliamps an hour and it works off a voltage cutoff um, but there is a drawback to this charger which we'll go into shortly and the obvious drawback is you have to charge in pairs you can't charge uneven numbers so it, the voltage cutoff is working on a basis of the two channels not a single channel now when you plug it in you'll see the red LED come up when it's charging and then that goes to an orange color and then to green when it's finished charging and it runs a very low trickle charge after that when it's completed the charging on the channels. Now the one issue that I found is because it's charging in pairs you could potentially charge a battery more than you need to um, because it works off of the two channels at the same time. We'll come back to that in a second. Now I'm loading it into a capacity tester and this charges a battery and then measures the amount of current it's discharged from the cell so it's quite an accurate way of seeing how much they actually store. Now on this we've got um, the last digit gets knocked off for this particular method so the first one is 2680, the next is 2590, 2480 and 2820 so it only really hit the specified rating on the cell in bank 4 there but they're still at a high level. Anything around 2,500 milliamps an hour is classed as a high capacity AA nickel metal hydride. And repeating the same procedure for the AAA cells, these fared a little bit better, um, didn't quite hit the mark, but just a bit under the 1,100. All of them came in at over 1,000 milliamps an hour. So they're being a bit over optimistic with the AAs on the actual capacity. Wrapping up with a summary and conclusion on the batteries and charger, I'll start with the batteries. They're not low self-discharge. I stored these for about two and a half, three months, and some of the cells were not much over one volt, which is not good for a low self-discharge battery, so I would completely ignore that aspect of them. Um, so if you're going to store batteries for any length of time, these aren't really going to suit you. On the other hand, if you use them frequently for things like flash guns and torches, they're actually quite good in terms of capacity, albeit not quite up to the level that they quote on the label. As far as the charger goes, I actually ended up giving this away uh, purely because it tends to undercharge the cells. It's not putting enough current um, voltage through each channel and it has to go in pairs. So honestly, I would really go for a better independent channel charger than this particular model offers.